Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Immunity is the topic for today's uh, MCQ's discussion. Let's move to the question number one. All of the following are innate and non-specific immune responses except. We know a first line of defense, it includes a first and second line of defense. They are known as innate and non-specific immune responses. But antibodies, they are in third line of defense. They are not regarded as innate or non-specific because they are acquired and specific immune responses. As you can see, they are included in third line of defense while first and second line of defense, they are non-specific or innate responses of the immune system or immunity. Complement system uh, of proteins. It's a non-specific defense mechanism. Yes, it is. It is involved in inflammatory response. Yes, is a series of proteins present in the plasma and it plays an important role in destroying bacteria as well. So all of these, they are correct options for complement system in the body. Which of these, which of the cells uh, does not phagocytize? We know lymphocytes, they are the cells which are not involved in phagocytosis process. Instead, they produce lymphocyte B and T for cell mediated or humoral response. Which is a non-specific defense against a pathogen, including in first line of defense? Non-specific responses in first line of defense includes production of gastric juice, while phagocytotic white blood cells complement or inflammation, some sort of tonsils like they are included in second line of defense. Plasma cells, they are the B cells actually that are actively secreting antibodies, so Charlie. And which of these pair is incorrectly matched? We know cytotoxic T cells, uh, they do not help in uh, formation of complement reaction, but cytotoxic T cells, they are involved in active tissue rejection. And uh, macrophages, they activate T cells, while memory cells, memory T cells, they are long living T cells, which are involved in providing secondary immune response. Number seven, which of these uh, does not pertain to B cells? B cells, they have passed through the thymus, no. And they have specific receptors, no. Uh, yes, they have specific receptors. They are responsible for antibody mediated immunity as well. And they become plasma cells that synthesize and liberate antibodies. So alpha is not related to B cells. B cells mature within the bone marrow while T cells within the thymus. And which cells of immune system produce mammary cells? Mammary cells are formed by both lymphocyte B and T lymphocytes for secondary or future immune response. Which cells of immune system produce mammary cells? They are B and T and number 10, which of the following substances or factors is responsible in sweat that destroys the cell wall of bacteria? It's lysozyme. Number 11, natural killer cells are a type of lymphocyte and component of second defense line or innate immune system. So alpha. They are the type of lymphocyte, but uh, they are involved in secondary, uh, second defense line or innate immune response. The cells in the blood that detect pathogenic bacteria and signal the complement system to get to the work, they are macrophages. And the diversity among antibodies is due to change the amino acid sequence of both light and heavy chains variable region, so delta. And phagocytes generally come into action when first defense line is breached, first defense line is crossed, then second defense line is activated, which includes phagocytes, antimicrobial proteins, complementary system and inflammatory response as well as fever. And antigen is a stimulus for antibody formation and that may be a protein or non-protein nature. It may be living or non-living cell, uh, non-living component as well. Antibodies anyhow consist to heavy and to light chains. Heavy chains, they are longer, containing more amino acids, and lighter chains, they are having shorter, having few amino acids. Antibodies are an example of globular proteins, immunoglobulins. Number 18, all are true about passive immunization, except passive immunization includes antibodies. It uh, 
main valve injection of antisera and production of antibodies not stimulated but antitoxins antibodies antisera they may be injected antibodies are not produced already uh, made or already present antibodies in a serum they are injected in this passive immunization method of immunity for example passive immunity it may be natural or artificial natural uh, includes gain of antibodies from mother through placenta or breast milk while artificial includes injection of antibodies interferons they are antiviral agents antiviral proteins produced by white blood cells lymphocytes so alpha <clears throat> antibodies in a mother's breast milk provide a baby with natural passive immunity uh, that's why right option will be delta so any antibodies which are present in the mother milk or crossing placenta they are providing passive immunity number 21 the healthy stomach essentially remains germ free because it's having a strong antiseptic agent that is hydrochloric acid so charlie number 22 which is the following cell that actively patrol the skin to phagocytize the pathogens they are dendritic cells which are moving through the skin for performing phagocytotic activity number 23 active immunity may be produced by all of the following methods except having a disease receiving a vaccine or receiving an antigenic stimulus may provide active immunity but injection of antibodies is a type of passive immunity so charlie after second exposure to a vaccine or the following changes will take place except in second shot antibodies are made more quickly and immunity lasts longer and plasma cells are active but uh, no type of antibody is degraded so delta is an irrelevant option over here that's the answer and the last question is vaccines they are actually treated bacteria or viruses or one of their components one of their proteins which stimulate immune response in the body thank you for listening that was all about immunity and its important mcqs